this video we are going to disable Microsoft Edge browser our first option is to launch Explorer and click on this PC we'll go to C drive Windows and then system apps in system app we we'll need to look for the directory which is Microsoft Edge underscore 8 W E K Y B 3 D 8 D B W E or in short just look for Microsoft Edge directory starting from Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge and proceeding with these uh, alphanumeric values we are going to right click on it and select properties now once we are in properties we need to change the ownership of this directory let's go to security tab in the security tab let's go to advanced button in advanced you will see the owner as trusted installer click on change now in this window search for your username and click enter once it resolves the user click on apply and ok so we need to open properties again go to security and then click on advanced app in advanced tab click on add button and here select a principal here we need to search for the same user again once it is done this ok apply yes and continue with the problem now once it is done we have taken control of this folder now we click right click on this Microsoft Edge directly and click on rename and let's make it an old directory Now we need to restart the computer and see if Edge is still enabled. Let's restart the computer. As you can see, the computer is back online and we don't see Edge anymore. Second method is, uh, or the second step can be to change the default browser. Um, let's right click on let's click on uh, start menu and click on settings let's click on system and then we go to default app setting now in here under the web browser select internet explorer um, as default if you have any other browser installed on your PC, it 
be uh, listed here you can just um, click on that browser uh, to make that as default so I just have Internet Explorer right now I'll uh, select Internet Explorer and I'll just close this window this will make Internet Explorer as my default browser um, another, another step is to remove uh, Microsoft Edge using a register now for that we need to open Windows uh, Microsoft uh, PowerShell or right click on uh, start menu and uh, click on Windows PowerShell admin if it is not here then we can open command prompt and type PowerShell uh, to open PowerShell now launching Windows PowerShell as an administrative in administrative context now we type in get apex package it will list out all the apps installed on this machine we need to find Microsoft Edge in here so let's take a look on this output Alright, uh, here the, here's the entry uh, which says uh, Microsoft Edge and here is the package full name which is Microsoft.Microsoft Edge and let's go numeric version and then um, all of the key. This can be uh, different from version to version so we need to copy this uh, full name. Select uh, the package name and right click on this it will copy or you can note down uh, the notepad now we come back to cursor get apex package space we right click on here so that we paste the package full name we put a pipeline and say remove Apex package. We can press enter here and it will remove the package. We have another command if you are not getting this uh, full complete name of the package, we can use get apex package space wildcard search here edge and then an asterisk pipeline it with remove apex package and hit enter it will remove marks of edge completely Now, once you are done with this, we have another uh, solution which is to disable Edge from launching and on restart. Let's press Windows and R key and type R E G E D I T, which is a edge added. We need to navigate to um, computer. Let's key local machine system thread control set services N L A S V C parameters internet now if you look into the keys which are in here let me expand the name column you need to find enable active probing key 
double click on it and make it zero and then save it now we need to restart the computer and see if edge still pops up once it is back I uh, hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.